this is not said by people who are loved in the past. This is being said by people that they are so high that is, it, it resembles almost impossible. That why these people will be fearful? And they are the one that they are more fearful. Not the people who are least fearful, but the people who are more fearful. People that in the account of what we see they've done. You would have said, this man is certainly, he's got it. I mean, look at everybody else. He is up there and he will be the one who is saying, I lead with taqwa. And that is the missing element. Put that into account. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will see the gold dinar as the most natural thing that you can possibly do. You will find nothing but encouragement to put forward the matter. To tell the people, to wake them up. To pass on to them what you have learned with enthusiasm. But not enthusiasm of, of the crazy person, but the enthusiasm of the person who sees. For if you see somebody, if you see a child trying to put his fingers in the electricity thing, you will speak with determination. You will not have a dialogue and say, well, if you put the fingers there, no, you will take it away. And then you will tell them with clarity, with certainty of things that you know. And it's that certainty that it doesn't, doesn't resemble a dialogue. It will, between putting the, fing the fingers in the electricity thing and not putting them, there is no middle point. Between the haram and the halal, there is no middle point. There is no negotiation. So you don't go and you say, well, let's do a little bit of paper money, a little bit of gold in air. That's not what is the affair. If you engage yourself into that dialogue, you end up with Islamic banks with another bit of the creation on top. And what leads you to, ha that, to have that understanding and that dialogue and that word, what leads you to that position is action. You want wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and everybody seeks wisdom, otherwise you will not be here. Act upon the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered. And you will find encouragement to do, go a little bit farther and a little bit farther and a little bit farther. And then, only then, when you've done that, you will find that you are capable of speaking on these matters. <coughs> in a different way. For I have seen many who come, they hear, up here, and they, they repeat what they hear in the circle. And then they go out and they say, but they, da, 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 but they don't believe in it, because they haven't done it. And then the whole world responds to them with, with, with a slap in the face. And then they get shocked. <laughs> and then they say, oh, they are bad. These people don't understand. This is not how it works. Because when the light comes, the darkness disappears. So when the fakir finds himself speaking on these matters and not being listened to, he doesn't blame them. He blames himself. He says, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? You take these advisors into consideration and you will find the path moving forward. So don't fall into this short camp. There are falls. There are false stops. That they only are there to stop you. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. You are not here to judge. Remember. You are here to be judged. Put yourself in the path. Put yourself in the center. Make yourself the center of your movie. Move it forward. Go alongside with it. Don't find excuses or corners. There's no shortcuts in this except doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered you in all the stems of it. A task that for certain will always be ahead of you. For there is nobody who has in this affair said, I have arrived. For there is no arriving in this until the day that Allah places to you and all of us. And that will be the arriving. 
In the meanwhile, we are all moving forward, or backwards. For they have said about this path, either you go ahead or you go backwards. There is no, nothing static. So we speak about the gold dinar, and we say, this is the currency of the Sunnah. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran. All right? And then we say, <coughs> the Amal of Medina, the key to understand all commercial transactions, Kirat, Shirkat, currency, buying and selling, and social relationships that involve in the great part of it, commercial transactions or business transactions. The institution, the key institution for that is the Sukh, which is as important to Muhammad as the mosque is to the prayer. And you can, of course, indeed, buy and sell outside the market, like we do pray outside the mosque. And yet, the institution that holds these all together, where the regulations take place, where the people come together, they learn about these matters, where trading takes place, and many institutions depend upon this, is the souk. And the people don't know what the souk is anymore. And we are so busy doing gold in air, we, we only have a little extra time to put these things together. But it will come, and we will do it. And what comes from the souk is understanding of many other things that follow. But the word souk is an Arabic word, like dinar is an Arabic word. And it comes from these other languages before, it doesn't matter, it's Arabic. From the moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it in, place it in the Quran, is Arabic. Dinar and dirham. But don't be mistaken, people who speak Arabic don't understand these words. People who speak Arabic today don't understand what souk is. And they will refer to souk in, in terms and manners that it will horrify any, anybody else. It will, it, it will be misunderstood. They speak about souk uh, like the Kufar speak about the markets. They call Carrefour also another souk. And Tesco and, and Walmart is another souk. And from there comes things like kafila. The kafila is the caravan. The caravan is mentioned in the Quran. Kafila is the evidence of trading. Halalahul baya wa haramul riba. While today what we have is halalahul riba wa haramul baya. Stuff. That's what we've done. And that, that the, the symbolism of this sentence, second sentence, is the constitution of every country. As long as you have that, that's what you get. They've made the riba halal. Finished. Without exception. Because without exception, they all have central banks, and national debt, and legal tender. And then they say, and we also follow Islam. And this is false. And nobody will dare to challenge that. Because the people I met yesterday, they are not ready to challenge that. What I found in them is fear in their heart, but not for Allah, but for everything else. And what we did is trying to encourage them. And I saw some of the people changing. <coughs> That's what you are here for. You are here for to pass this, to let give courage to our people. Give them courage. Tell them, go ahead and follow Allah. Do not be scared. Do not be scared. Do it. Do it. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what you find. It, must, it doesn't matter what circumstances you find yourself in. Because people say, no, we have to be rich, and then we do it. It has never been the case. Never, never, never. Hatawaludin. Never, never. It's always the Fukara who have done it. For often, the people who are rich have a lot to lose. But the fakir has nothing to lose. That's why you cannot touch the fakir. There's nothing to take. And they want to harm the fakir 
and, and you cannot harm the fakir because you, what are you going to take from him? He doesn't have anything. So that is, in fact, the condition. If you want to move fast in this affair, abandon dunya. Let dunya pass by you, but not in it. Don't be in it. Don't be part of it. Don't get yourself involved in his lures, for they only are illusions.